when my wife Lori was first injured, it was devastating. You know, she was a very fit, active young woman. She was 29 years old at the time. And she was injured by a massage therapist. And she had gone numb from the below the navel, below her belly button, her groin, her backside, the backs of her legs, and the bottoms of her feet. It was excruciatingly painful. She could barely walk. And what I didn't understand at the time was we were witnessing the the unraveling of her nervous system, the functions, the sensation, the muscles, the muscle function, the uh, organ functions of the area just weren't able to uh, function as they were supposed to. You know, the areas were short-circuited. They had uh, lost in, in neurology. It's called an inhibited. So their functions were decreased compared to what they were normally. And it was it was uh, scary. It was very scary. We were, I was in my last term in chiropractic school at the time when this happened. And it was very unnerving going through this whole education process. And then nothing that I had learned was able to affect change on my life. Nothing that I had learned allowed me to evaluate her to the level that she needed so that we could provide her the, the care that she needed. And so at that time, it was, it was very scary. You know, we were told so many different things. We were told that, um, you know, get used to it. This is how she's going to live the rest of her life. Uh, start looking into buying a wheelchair for her because she's just not going to improve uh, past this. Um, you, they told us that we won't be able to have a child. And, uh, you know, all these things are devastating, especially for a young family that wants to have children and, and uh, sees the future ahead of them. And then all of a sudden, one night to the next, everything changes. You know, all the uh, thoughts of travel and children and, and life no longer were the same anymore. They were gone instantly. And I couldn't stand for that answer. You know, I couldn't sit with that. And I, I prayed a lot and I studied a lot. I'd go to UCLA to the neurology bookstore and I would just read every neurology book that I could. And I used a lot of my martial arts principles that I learned in Aikido for, for many years. And I put all these concepts together and, and God gave me the gift of, of being able to affect change in the nervous system. It took time to unravel the gift uh, because once I realized, oh, I could make this correction, this neurological correction, and I could do that consistently from person to person, then it was, well, where else could I do this in the body? Yeah, I can make a muscle stronger, but what else could be made stronger with this principle? And at that time in my life, I didn't sleep. Not that I didn't want to sleep, it's just that I'd wake up in the middle of the night going, oh my gosh, I could do this to the sensory nerves. Uh, and I could restore sensation to people who've lost sensation after brain injury, stroke, or, or damage of some sort. And then I'd wake up in the middle of the night, oh my gosh, we could do this to the cranial nerves. The cranial nerves are the nerves that create our reality experience, our five senses, seeing, hearing, smelling, taste, and touch. And also touch goes into the further sensations into the entire body for your, you know, measuring temperature, pain, vibration, and so on. So once I started really discovering neurology, and I call it the terrain of the nervous system, because this is these are the actions and qualities of our nervous system that provide quality of life. They, they connect our nervous system to the space around our body. The, uh, the ability to connect you know, with our breathing, we're connecting with the oxygen that surrounds us, for example. And with our sensation, we're connecting with the environment around us and the information coming in.